So these are many losses for us, but we do have a gain. I guess one gain is that we do have those vials that she's left us on earth and we've been enjoying those in the last week. And also, uh, we, we do know that we have our gain is, is an eternal life. In fact, I pray to God and remind him that he needed a good fire. <laughs> but I don't know if someone would get to be able to hand with that up there. But be sure he includes a lot of posting from the And I'm also very appreciative of my sister Sharon and her family who live close by and have looked at looked after mother so much. And she very much valued that and it was a value to Brian and his family and to know that there was that attention. He drives the church, checking in, they help with many things that she might get a little confused with her soul in the last month or last year. So we appreciate that very much. But I've got a special surprise for you and a wonderful thing to share at this time. It was in 1986 that Mother wrote to each of our families a letter and she wrote a listing of her memory Bible verses and she wrote a prayer. And every time I kind of read that, I would kind of break down that. It was really tough, but it said everything as to who Mother really was. And she wrote this at the time in, in 1986. If my dad had been living then, they would have celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary on September 25th of 1986. And this was her remembrance at that time, and at the time that she wanted us to know how things were. I think the other precious part of it, knowing Mother, she would like to be here to tell us a thing or two. And she would like to be at her funeral to share this <laughs> And as Sharon and Brian and I talked about that, we, Sharon and I were getting a little cold feet about that, and Brian said he would be willing to give it a try. And I'm so grateful for him willing to do that. And then we did make an arrangement, though, that Pastor Ross will be back up for us. <laughs> so, Brian, it's all yours. <laughs>